my mom thought it'd be a great idea to get me into the Irish dancing. So my dad lifted me up onto the front of the bike and then we went to the dancing club behind the model school in Chicago. I think it's still there the building. And I went in at four and a half years of age. And I left, I would have been, I'd say, four and a half years of age. It just wasn't been for me. I think the fact that I couldn't count any more than seven, you know, the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, seven was grand, and that was the end of it. So, let me just put down this bottle. Fifteen cents. How many's getting on with the recycling with the throwing back? Yeah. No, I think it should be an Olympic sport. There is a knack in it. Like, myself personally, every Monday, I go over with the flag. Now, my record at the moment is 15 bottles and 10 cans. 2 minutes 30 seconds and 3 euro 75. So I'm hoping the qualify is a fastest loser, but I won't know the next week. But it's the better than looking down the Kinsey. I mean, there is an active, isn't there? The bike on the arm and your nice little bit, nice rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. And I was cheating. Yeah. yeah. This one had a bit of fun. That's too easy. Too easy. But anyway, it should be an Olympic sport. I'm talking about the Olympics. The Olympics were brilliant. I mean, you know, the Team Ireland, fantastic. And the Paralympics next week will be just as good, if not better. They'll be fantastic. Um, I thought I was going to be representing Ireland in the Olympics as a kid. As you do. As you do. Just didn't work out. Um, I went to St. John's College and I thought, I'm not a bad runner. Because I run everywhere. Would you run around to the shop fair, love, to the butcher? Would you run up to Mrs. Sounds of the Rock? Would you run down to the car and get the paper for your dad? So I said, I'll put the money to good use. So I joined up and I said, I like to be a long distance woman, you know? So we all headed out the gate and the PE teacher waved us off and he went back into the staff room for smoke. And we ran down Valley Fairmont Road, down Lawrence's Hill, or up Lawrence's Hill, whatever. But I was always forced back. Not because I was quick, because I was a gum shape. The other lads didn't want to get back to the school. They were out enjoying themselves. So then I said, I'll sign up for the, uh, to represent the school in the school sports day over in the Ivy Grounds in Crumlin. The PE teacher, he instilled a lot of confidence in me when he said, are you sure? I said, well, yeah, I am. So I signed up to run the line for the 1500 meters in all of and got off the bus, got off the bus, and the first thing I noticed was that these other lads were, well, they were well talked out in the best of year. I was in the uh, runners, probably from pennies or from trolleys, I don't know. They were in the best of stuff. The gun went off, and before my head got up off the ground, they were gone. And I thought, yeah, this is a bit more difficult than I thought. Anyway, needless to say, Never walked out. I continued running past the green post, onto the bus, and that was the end of it. I tried a bit of the uh, gymnastics in the gym. The pommel horse had to be put down after I was finished with it, it was just it was hopeless. So anyway, it's back to school time for a lot of children. I know some of them are back already making their tentative steps into the uh, secondary school. And I wrote this a few years back. It's basically covering the cost and the expense of getting back to school. Um, it's based on a bit of a, it was, you'll recognise it maybe. Now, my little boy put me in the kitchen last night as I was preparing dinner, and he handed me a piece of paper. It was his back to school list. After I got over the initial shock, I read it, and this is what it said. Your child's back to school book list and accessories. He had made a few additions to it himself. For all the usual books each year, where a couple of pages slightly changed, so his oldest brother's books are useless, 185 euro. For the new atlas, thanks to the addition of some little unknown country in the bush end of the Balkans being added, 15 euro. For the new dictionary, because six new words have been added since last year, including chillax, staycation, and romance, and cheese ball, 9.99. For all the times he'll be drawing triangles and squares and going off on tangents, a geometry set, six euro. For preparing to represent the country at the Olympics one day, a new tracksuit with school logo, 30 euro. For running around the field like a mad joke, new runners, 45 euro. 
for all the colorful art for me to bring home to stick on the fridge, a pack of felt tip pens, one ninety nine available in Aldi. And to keep his lunch fresh, to look cool, a Kenneth Barbie lunchbox, eight euro forty nine. And to cover the cost of photocopying, paper clips and staples, fifty euro. And for the endless writing of essays, a pack of burrows, three ninety nine. To hold all this crap, a new bag, by the way, twenty four ninety nine. For your voluntary contribution, no pressure, pay within in two installments. First one due next week, P.S. you didn't pay last year's, 250 euro, total bill, 600 euro and 45 cents. Well, I looked down at him standing there with face on him, and I was thrown over the kitchen sink. I took that piece of paper, turned it over, and I wrote, For the years I got you to school on time, strapped into your booster seat, made you like Lewis Hamilton, white knuckles on the steering wheel waiting for the lights to change, no change. For the times I collected you from school in a hurry because you gave the other kids chicken pox. No charge. For the evenings I stayed up with you trying to work out how many sheep the farmer would have if he sold two fifths of his flock and still had two hundred left, driving me round with them. No charge. For all the nights I laid awake, dreading the thoughts of the facing the school talent show again. No charge. For making sure you were fully toilet trained before you went near the place. No charge. For all the nut-free lunches, because Tommy O'Reilly's face puffs up like a balloon if he even smells one, no charge. And for the privilege of having my son in your school, no charge. And as for free education, you can kiss my ass, and for that, there's no charge. <laughs> I just wanted to say, um, I, I'm going to put it short because I know you're up against time. Um, just to thank Ken and Sean and Tara. I met Ken by mistake really many, many years ago. I worked as a rep and I went into Ken's business and I met this very nice gentleman. Some of my customers, you, you can't dread it going and see them, but I always felt comfortable going in to see Ken and I didn't know he was a body parent man at the time, nor did he know I was a body parent man. And we got on really well. And I, really, I remember the day because it was the solar eclipse of the sun and Ken worked in an engineering place and they had these um what were they came welding masks the glass from the welding mask and he gave me two pieces of the glass to go outside with the guys and watch the solar eclipse and then we eventually linked up and made contact so what i'm going to do before i finish up i just want to say thanks again it's been great i lived on london road for many years and um, my mom and dad no style chairman and um, I just figured out this today. Um, I'm going to finish off with the weather and postal reports from Medair. This is important before you go. Hello. Uh, firstly, there is a Finnegale warning issued August 2024 and valid until we have an election on all coastal waters from Harris Head to Martin Head to O'Gorman Head. There is also a small crafty warning in place. Now the meteorological situation at 1400 hours. High pressure emanating from the opposition will slowly track up off the government and should be centred over Simon Harris until at least the end of October. A status orange warning remains in place in Ulster where it remains rather frosty. A deepening depression over FAI headquarters will move slowly away thanks to some high pressure coming down from Iceland. <laughs> and now the post report issued at 1200 hours on Saturday the 24th of August. Rialto, hospital building site, visibility poor, 980 million euro, rising rapidly. <laughs> Greater Dublin area, new houses, visibility poor, 10,000 units, rising slowly. <laughs> Body furnish, House rental prices, visibility moderate, 1,500 euro per month, falling slowly. Boy M50, visibility 8 miles, 110,000 vehicles, rising rapidly. Department of Finance, visibility moderate, 1 hectic Pascal, national debt 220 billion euro, falling slowly. 
hospitals, 65,000 nurses, visibility when you see them everywhere, blood pressure 140 over 90 and salary rising slowly. Leinster House, visibility poor, a right shower, wind and hot air, 166 TDs, steady. And finally, Dublin Airport, 199 Aer Lingus pilots, visibility clear, 36,000 euro per annum, rising rapidly. Well, that's all from Metairie now, and back to you, Ken, in the Lord, please. Thank you very much, everybody.